Hey, 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 family, it's your girl Evelyn here, and I'm back with another video in my goal getting, goal setting series. And today, I just kind of want to break down some terminology that I think a lot of people get confused or use incorrectly or may not be using at all. And therefore, this is why their goals aren't working, their vision boards aren't working, or they're missing these components. And if you haven't registered for my how to create a vision board that actually works workshop, then I encourage you to do so, so that I'm going to walk you through my process of using my vision board as a part of my goal setting process and how I do that in detail. Okay, so I want to go through and I kind of want to talk about the difference between like dreams and visions and goals and strategy and tactics and all of that kind of stuff. So I have my notes here because I'm about to teach today. Okay. All right. So let's just start with the dream. So everybody tells you, you know, to follow your dreams. Great. What does that mean? To me, the dream is an idea. That's all it is, right? Or it's a wish. It's a wanting. Okay. It's like, if I say, I dream of being a chef one day. Okay, follow that dream to be a chef one day. You see why following your dreams is not enough? I think you have to start with a dream. You have to dream, right? And I think a lot of people even struggle with dreaming because dreaming, you have to know that something is possible for you, right? So one of the things that I work with with my my clients and in my programs is really on getting the stuff out of the way that has kept us from dreaming, dreaming as big as we possibly could to say, to, to even have the idea for ourselves, right? So dreaming is super important, but dreaming is just a piece of the puzzle, okay? And it's the beginning. And so a lot of times the reason why people talk about representation matters is because if I can't even fathom it, if I can't even have the idea, have the dream, none of the things that I'm saying after this are gonna work okay so you have to dream and you need a dream but the dream is the idea of something it's the concept okay it's the eerie fairy intangible all right so now let's talk about a vision okay and you know we talk about vision boards or having a vision or the power of a vision and it's really really great because a vision takes a dream and puts you in it so it's like it's like taking that idea and then making it specific to you and seeing yourself in it, right? So like one day I dream about becoming myself, uh, becoming a chef, and now I can envision myself as a chef. Like what would that look like for me to be a chef? Now I have a vision, right? And now I have a tangible blueprint or I want to say a tangible image that my mind can set on that envisions me inside of that dream right not just this it would be nice that I could do this or be this or have this but now it's a picture of what I dreamt about that includes me in it right so this is why vision boards are so powerful because your mind doesn't know you guys have heard me talk about this the difference between fiction and reality. So why not put images in front of it that is going to try to make a reality, right? Your mind is going to try to make that thing real. And so that's the power of a vision board, which is why um, I have a very detailed process on how I do my vision boards and the reason why they're so effective, because I know that I need to see myself in things in order for those things to be a reality for me. Okay. You know, a lot of people do vision boards. It's just something fun to do and they think it's cool. And if it works great and if it does it, oh, it was just, you know, this arts and craft project. But I will tell you that it's really, really powerful if you really understand that your mind is going to bend to try to make what it sees come true, which is why. You know, it's important what you consume and what you view and what you listen to because your mind will try to make that a reality. Okay, so that's having a vision. So the dream is the idea. The vision is putting yourself in that idea. Okay, and it's a little bit more tangible. Both are great. Both won't get you far without the rest 
of what I'm going to be sharing and you can't do the rest of what I'm sharing without a dream and a vision. Okay. So now let's talk about a goal. A goal is basically taking that dream and that vision and putting a deadline on it. I will be a chef by this date, by this age, by whatever time. Okay. To use that as an example, let's just say, let's take it out of career and let's just say you have a desire to be thinner or more muscular or bigger or something related to health. And so you have this idea of, man, I would like to be firm like Angela Bassett, right? In my arms. Okay. And then a vision is imagining what you would look like and what life would be like and how you would dress and what you would wear if you had Angela Bassett's arms. Okay. And then a goal says, I'm going to uh, tone my body, lose X amount of weight by such and such time. Right. So that's why we talk about making goals smart, you know, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time bound. Okay. We may talk about making smart goals. Listen, it's something I cover in my program in detail. People teach you about making smart goals, but then they don't teach you how to make smart goals. Okay. So goal is making it specific and measurable, attainable, time bound, realistic, all that kind of stuff. Smart goals, right? So now with all of these things, having a dream, having a vision, having goals, I have to help my clients get there, whether it's in their business, whether it's in their self care, whether it's in their life, because a lot of times we haven't allowed ourselves the space to do these three, particularly to dream and have a vision. We haven't allowed ourselves the space. Okay. Where I come in and where I shine is the strategy. The strategy is your approach. How it's the how. How are you going to make this goal and this vision and this dream become a reality? Okay, so for example, let's just say your your goal is to lose 50 pounds in six months. That's your goal. Your vision is to see yourself in a bikini with a flat stomach. Your goal is you just want to be thinner and healthier. Okay, or your dream is you just want to be thinner and healthy. So your goal is I'm going to lose 50 pounds in six months. Okay, great. Your strategy says, well, how are you going to do that? Are you going to change your diet? Are you going to do it through exercise? Are you going to have weight loss surgery? Are you going to do a fast? Are you going to do a cleanse? Are you going to do some other version? Which is the how. How are you going to approach achieving this goal? Right? And here's the thing. There's not one or more way to do the strategy. It depends on you guys. I've talked about this before, what your parameters are, right? If you're like, I want to lose weight, but my parameter is I want to do it naturally and I don't want to take pills and I don't want to have surgery. Then we look at, well, what are all the options for you to lose those 50 pounds in six months with those parameters in place? Okay. If the goal is I want to lose 50 pounds in six months, but I don't want to work out. Okay. Not a problem. Are we considering weight loss? Are we considering, you know, aggressive fasting? What are the pros and cons of whatever this strategy that you choose is, right? If it's, I want to be a chef, okay, by the time I say I'm 30, right? We all know I'm over 30, but I still look good, okay? Anyway, we all know that I'm a chef that's over, that I, and I want, to, I want to be a chef by the time I'm 30. Okay, great. Is the goal I'm just going to be self taught? Is the goal I'm going to go to culinary school? Is it, is the approach, is the strategy, excuse me, is the strategy going to be I'm going to go to culinary school? Is the strategy going to be I'm going to apprentice under someone? Is the strategy be I'm just going to start calling myself a chef and start booking clients? What's the strategy? Okay, so the strategy is your approach. And a lot of times I find whether it's a business and life, one, people don't have a dream. And maybe they do, but they don't have a vision for that dream. They definitely don't have goals. And I know for sure they don't have a strategy because I what I have learned as a strategist is I should be able to spot your strategy from a mile away. Right. I can look at singers and look at their career paths. I can look at business owners. I can look at artists and I can tell you what their strategy is. And sometimes I can tell you if that strategy is going to work or not. Okay. Cause I can look at it and go, if that's what you're trying to do, this strategy 
has to match the goal. You'd be surprised how many people out here think they have a strategy or they're trying a strategy that they saw somebody do somewhere else to achieve a different goal and they try to pick up that strategy and apply it to a goal that it was never meant for. Which is why I tell people that goals are not, that strategy is not cookie cutter and which is why you need to have a strategist. Anyway, I digress. Let me get to the next point. So now you have tactics and action plans, which are what are the actual things that I need to go do to implement this strategy. For example, if I want to lose weight and I say that my approach, my strategy is that I want to work out and eat healthy, what are the action plans that I need to do? What are all the moving parts that I need to do to implement that strategy so I can achieve that goal so I can see that vision in real life and I have manifested my dreams? You see how this is building blocks? So, for example, with the weight loss one, if it's I want to work out and eat healthy to lose weight, great. Am I hiring a personal trainer? Am I getting a gym membership? Am I going to the gym? Am I putting it on the calendar? Am I buying workout clothes? Am I buying more fruits and vegetables? Am I drinking green juices? Am I taking supplements? Am I not eating certain things? Am I doing intermittent fasting? Am, am, I, am I picking a diet, right? And then what does that look like day to day? When am I meal prepping? When am I grocery shopping? Am I cooking at home? Am I going to hire a chef? What are the tactical things that, are, that I need to do every day, every week, every month, every quarter, every year that's going to get me to that vision and, and to that dream and to that goal? I think a lot of times people want to just do get either people go straight to the dream and they have no strategy, no tactics, no anything, or they do a whole bunch of tactics and it's not pointing towards anything, right? I see this happen in business a lot. People want to, they come up with all these great like marketing campaigns and ideas and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, so what are you trying to sell? Like if you're going to start doing that, what's the plan? What's the goal? What is that pointing towards? Same thing in your life. What are you doing? You have to tell your life where to go or you're going to wonder where it went, right? It's the same thing with your business. It's the same thing with your money. You have to tell your money where to go. Are you going to wonder where, you, where it went? What's the plan? Okay? What's the approach? What are the tactical things that you're going to do? If you say, you know what? In 2019, I'm going to get my money right. What does that look like for you? What's the plan? What's the goal? What are the steps that you need to take? Okay? You need to have the tactics. And I, I found this great quote. And I can't even pronounce the guy's name. So I'm just going to have to put it on the screen it says strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory and then it goes on to say and tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat I think having a strategy is great if you don't have tactics it's going to be a long haul Tactics are absolutely necessary. If you have tactics without a strategy, you're going nowhere fast. You're sprinting a marathon to nowhere. Okay? So, once you have tactics, then there's other things you can implement like affirmations and all that kind of stuff. But I just kind of wanted you guys to see how that all works together. So I encourage you that if you haven't been dreaming or if you don't have a vision or you want to get some goals and some strategy and tactics, I encourage you to sign up for my How to Create a Vision Board That Actually Works workshop. And I'm going to be sharing with you how to incorporate all of these things so that you can achieve your goals in your life and in your business. And so I'm really, really excited about it. If you also want to live your best life, if you want to tell your life where to go instead of wondering where, where it went, I encourage you to join the Best Life Challenge. All of the details for the best my best life challenge and for the workshop how to create a vision board that actually works are in the description box below and I will see you in my next video. Peace.